Hello and welcome to another episode of the Minor Issues Podcast. I'm Mark Thornton at the Mises Institute. Well, back in October, I ran an episode on why your children are communist and why college will make that worse. And in that episode, I got some responses from listeners and they doubted, they severely doubted my statement that college professors are 10 to 1 Democrats over Republicans. And so in this episode, I want to go back and review some of the technical literature on the political ideology of college professors in the United States. Now, the first paper I want to look at is a paper uh, from 2005 by Rothman, Lichter, and Neville. And they looked at the data on political party affiliation of university professors at several uh, universities around the United States. And what they found was that uh, they had data for 1984 and for 1999. And in 1984, indeed, there was only 15% more college professors who were associated with left or liberal perspectives compared to right or conservative perspectives. So that's only 15% more numerous or basically about break even. And I can tell you that, uh, you know, that was when I was in college. And basically, that's the impression I got is that you, that uh, political affiliation was not really an issue, that uh, professors were uh, very diverse, um, pretty much unbiased in the classroom, um, but nothing unusual. And when the authors looked at the same data set, in 1999, they found not 15% more in relative terms of left versus right wing professors, but nearly five times the number of left wing professors compared to right wing per, per, uh, professors. So, you know, that was uh, a complete about face, and there was uh, issues either on campus and off campus about the tremendous switch in the ideological perspective um, on the university campus among professors. So I can see where I, you know, I got called out on that. If you were a college student back in the 70s or 80s or early 90s, it would appear as if the professors were in general unbiased. But by 1999, that had all changed. A more recent paper by Langbert, Quain, and Klein, 2016, um, also looked at the political affiliations of professors in 40 campuses in the United States, and they looked at their political affiliations in the departments of history, Departments of Journalism and Communication, Departments of Psychology, Economics Departments, and Law Schools. And what they found is at this later date uh, that there was this tremendous uh, bias in the political affiliations um, of university professors. Um, In law and in economics, the relative percentage of Democrats versus Republicans was relatively low, but it was still more than five to one uh, Democrats over Republicans. And then when you looked at departments of history, journalism, communications, and psychology, uh, the ratio was much, much higher, indicating an extreme bias. As a matter of fact, the only campus in the country that was close to being even was Pepperdine, which had 1.2 Democrats for every Republican. So I think that the uh, the listener was correct in, in, in asking about this 10 to 1 ratio of liberals versus conservatives. Um, 
but it, it's something that has changed rather dramatically and rather recently uh, within the last few decades. It's become uh, very much one-sided. And of course, when I'm um, saying liberal here in relationships to these research studies, I'm not referring to the classical liberal tradition of Mises and Hayek in the European liberalism, where it represented freedom of thought and free markets, uh, no class-based society, those kind of things. Um, the modern liberal is associated basically with left-wing politics and socialism. So we have had a, a tremendous shift uh, to the left, essentially, and that's the way the campus stands. Of course, every campus is different. Um, you know, there are unique situations like Pepperdine, and then there are, you know, like, for example, um, Penn State and uh, Ohio State. Um, their liberals versus conservatives is uh, less, far less than 10 to 1, whereas a lot of liberal arts colleges in the Northeast are much greater than 20 to 1. So it does matter um, what campus you're talking about. But as a whole, there's been a tremendous shift. I also want to talk briefly about a paper more recent by Amir Kovet. Um, Economics laureates <clears throat> should disclose their political ideologies in political petitions. And this researcher um, started with the three legislative bills in 2020-2021, uh, which were each about $2 trillion each um, during COVID. And uh, Senator Manchin, um, the independent uh, senator at the time, wrote an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal September 2nd, 2021, saying that this, all this spending, these, this legislation could be highly inflationary and harmful uh, to consumers. And in response, uh, September 20th, 2021, 17 Nobel Prize winners in economics uh, penned an open letter uh, indicating that they thought that it would cause no inflation going forward. And so that's the motivation for this paper. And what the researcher did was look at the political affiliations and political donations of Nobel Prize winners in economics. And what he found was that of the 17 signatures, there were zero Republicans. And of those who were registered with a political party, all 14 were Democrats. Um, so that indicates the, the sort of the lopsidedness of the elites in the economic uh, profession. Um, <clears throat> overall, as I said earlier, uh, economics is relatively uh, not as lopsided as uh, disciplines such as history and journalism, English, etc., uh, when the researcher looked at campaign contributions uh, of all Nobel Prize winners in economics over a more extended period of time, uh, what they found was that for every dollar uh, donated to Democratic Party causes, um, there was very little donated to Republican causes, so that uh, for every dollar re, uh, donated to Republican candidates, there were six dollars uh, donated to Democratic uh, candidates. So again, at the elite level, it's even more clear that uh, the economics profession is highly ideologically biased uh, that doesn't show up in the general pattern of college teachers nationwide. Um, there's a lot of bias, but not as bad as some of these other liberal arts uh, disciplines. So, yes, um, you know, these you, the professorate um, is definitely uh, leftward biased. Um, and so when I said, 
you know, your children are already Marxist because of their primary and secondary education, uh, well, once they go to college, they're going to be exposed to almost a complete, when it comes to social sciences and government and policy and issues, they're going to be exposed to a professors who are uh, definitely one-sided uh, and definitely uh, leaning very strong in the leftward direction.